Welcome back to Cocktails and Consoles, awesome people. It's Melissa, and we're still in the starting phases of Chapter 3. I'm hoping that I can record this in enough time that I can, once I finish this chapter, go back and get the opening pieces to this, because they're so epic, and my fucking computer didn't catch it. Not my computer, no. Marilla's action. You, sir. Okay. So Leonardo da Vinci has to paint the Mona Lisa. Mona apparently had a shit fit and decided she didn't want to show up for her painting. So her handsome sister, Lisa, showed up in her place. <clears throat> now we have to prettify this hot mess. And do you mind? And get time back to where it belongs. Okay. Anything here that I can click on, take... Mm. Oh, let's go talk to Hagatha. You were looking downright chipper. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I ain't, thank you. The lady is thanking you for the compliment. Yes. I'm afraid she is wholly committed to maintaining her current expression. Okay. She lovely. Do you mind? What the... All of you this have is a fake. Chair right Maybe there. Leo uses it for still life practice. Can I take any of it? Tasty looking spread. Fake food doesn't seem super. No, fine. All right. Let us off to the kitchen. No other servants allowed in the Ooh. kitchen. But I'm Leonardo's official taster. <laughs> Not likely, String Bean. My cooking would probably kill you if it were poisoned. Okay. But I'm a promising new culinary genius with everything to prove. And I'm a surly old soup lady with a steak knife. Now scram! <laughs> she lovely. Leonardo just told me his breakfast tasted like boiled horse. <laughs> well, of course it did. What the devil did he think he was eating? Oof. I just saw an old pigeon out in the courtyard. I think it was dying. Out of my way! That's two good meals, at least! Okay. Stop. Yeah. All day with this one. Hello, rat poison. Fuck. Leave right now or you're going in the soup! Eep. Okay, so she's poisoning food. That's... that's fantastic. Hmm. Well. Where did I come from? <laughs> ah, here we go. Yes. So not much more I can do at the river. I can't do anything with that without a key. What do I have in my inventory? I have one pepper. I am not MacGyver. What if I could get her to eat the pepper, though? Or... I feed the pepper to that. Do plants with teeth eat other plants? I have to test this. For, For science! science! <laughs> Damn. Remarkable. Oh. I'll just hold on to this. The owner's probably a little too chewed up to need it. <laughs> but up bump. All right. Progress has been made. That's like a Thai chili pepper. Freaking cats. Oh, no, right. We got ourselves a classic keyhole. <laughs> no. Bingo! I think I can move these discs now. <laughs> I like that. And a hook. Ro 
robot hands. That looks like it's it. Hmm, looks like he was expecting a different combination. Let's check out the facade. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Growing up, I always thought those facades were fake. As far as facades go, this facade is tops. Thanks. That 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 was so fucking helpful. What do I do? I have nothing in my inventory. <laughs> You're giving me nothing. She's giving me nothing. The food is being poisoned. <sighs> Isn't your jaw uh, not even like uh, dang? <sighs> Do you know anything about I do. So I can, but I won't. Oh, you mean like dead people? Yes. Dead if you Great. You're no help. Hold on. I thought I told you to stay. That pigeon's back. It looks sicker than ever. It's not getting away this time. I have literally seconds in here. Chef Benedict Roser's traditional boiled weasel. Step one, bring water to a boil. Step two, boil weasel. Step three, Salt to taste and enjoy. Fuck. That's it. I'm cooking your ears. Uh. Well, my ears are still intact. I thought I told That pigeon. It's not. Hmm. Does this door not have a lock? Come on! No, I have to put something in its way. I see it now. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. I'm cooking your ears! Uh. <laughs> Shit. The rest of these don't look... Great. I think it's a book of alchemy recipes. Man, this guy's handwriting is awful. I can't read any of these. Oh wait, here we go. This one's for a brownification elixir. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so I'm assuming we make the root because we at least see those things. Add sliced tentabel root as needed to achieve desired brown hue. Mix in ground femur to enhance bonding properties. Boil one raven feather to create base darkening agent. Okay. Oh, 
All of which I can do from in here. What kind of incense is this? It smells like sweaty trout. You've never smelt lupin's breath before? Oh my god, that's exactly what this is. And those are samples, <laughs> if you'd like to take one. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to stop here for tonight. I will catch you guys again tomorrow night and see if we can come up with a little bit more forward progression here. I got to admit, I'm a little stumped. I hope you guys are doing well. Any likes, comments, subscribes, much appreciated. Definitely helps out the channel, and I will catch you awesome people in tomorrow's episode. Cheers!